Hi there, welcome to No Nonsense Whiskey. My name is Vin PF, and on today's episode, we're going to be covering a really well aged single grain. But I should start with an apology because I've had this bottle for a while and I just haven't covered it mainly because it sold out. It didn't sell out really quickly, but it sold out quite quickly to the back end of last year, 2022. So I put it in my review queue and I've been sitting on it a little bit, but um, I kind of had this theory that you wouldn't want to know about it if you couldn't buy it. But I've got to the point now where I kind of must cover it because as you can see here, it's getting quite low and I need to cover it before it disappears. But yeah, unfortunately, you can't buy this at the moment. There's there was only 185 of these bottles created. You know, that's how much the cask yielded. There is a 32 year old version, uh, well, obviously not of this, but you know what I mean, a 32 year old cask that's available on Master of Mold. And we'll get into all of those details a bit later on, but I just wanted to start at the, at the front and just say, sorry that I didn't cover it before it sold out, but um, I wanted to get, let you guys know that what I think of this, because it's, at the top of the show, I'll say it, it's probably one of the best whiskies I've ever tried. But let's get into it and see what we've actually got over here. Now, that's the label for you there, really lovely. Um, Master of Malt. I'm sure everyone watching this will know who Master of Malt are, but they are a uh, you know a whiskey selling giant online. Um, but what people might not know is they actually started in the 80s as an independent bottler, and obviously over the years it's become a kind of like an online you know shop. Uh, I was going to say marketplace, but it's more like a shop. You know, obviously. But they've this year, last year, 2022, and into this year, they've done an absolute massive slew of independently bottled releases of of all kinds all kinds you know and so these guys have got their fingers in a lot of pies they've got whiskey and casks all over the place they've been able to source some really amazing things dr simmons dr whiskey himself is all over this and um you know you can pick his brains on twitter as well i've seen people just asking questions literally not even on dms just asking him direct questions about some of the labels there's, there's been a, a, a couple of labels that have been controversial in terms of their single cask nature but that's not what we're talking about today because this isn't that so yeah what we have here is a 31 year old single grain distilled at the Gervin distillery well known kind of grain distillery uh, you know if you're into single malts you might not have heard the word Gervin but it's a William Grant's distillery so it's going to be in quite a lot of the blends that you know but you know occasionally you get an amazing cask that comes through. And I've said this many, many times on the channel, single grain gets a bit of a bad rap because it's not as quote unquote as good as single malt whiskey. But when it's done in the right way, um, usually that means a couple of decades or in this case three, but in the right cask for the right amount of time, single grain can be utterly incredible and for a good price. I mean, this thing costed me something like 65 pounds plus delivery or whatever. Um, I actually picked up another one as well, which I'll show you before I get into the, this one. This is the Space Side six year old, also sold out, but this one was selling for like 20 quid. So I added it into the basket when I bought this. But um, let me know in the comments below if you want me to cover this, because this is an interesting one. Uh, you can see I haven't quite tapped that enough, but there's a reason for that. Um, and we'll go into that another day. Um, I will cover it, but if you want me to cover it kind of quicker than I, I get to it eventually, let me know in the comments below and I'll get onto it. Okay then, back to this one then. A few things that are on the label that you might want, might be interested in. Um, distilled in November 1990 and uh, bottled in May 2022, 54.6%. Uh, Ex-bourbon, we don't know if it's refill or not. Um, I mean, you know, like the key thing about that you need to impress about cast types is that, you know, you might be fooled into thinking that colour gets into the whiskey gradually over those 31 years, but you can, that colour there will have been imparted I mean, with definitely within the first year, but probably within the first few months, uh, and then the rest of it will just be kind of like mellowing out. Um, you know, the the cask does its job in terms of colour quite early on. Um, that's just the thing. Um, Non-chill filtered, and I imagine natural colour. I, I don't think it actually says on here. I'm just double checking. I don't think it does, but I imagine it is. Um, so yeah, we've got ourselves three decades in a cask. You know, I was born in in, in mid eighties, so uh, for a lot of my life, this has been in a cask. So, let's get into it and see what we've actually got. Yeah, you know, I poured myself a very sparing amount today, but that's been sat on the side for a good wedge because this is one of those ones where you've got to let it breathe. It's it's 
it's not even just like a kind of should you or shouldn't you You've really got to it's critical to the enjoyment of this whiskey but you know lovely color i don't talk about color too much but let's get onto the nose and see what we've actually got oh, now for me if, i mean if you're into your single grains there's a very indicative kind of smell about grain so you can tell this is a grain sort of immediately but for me there's a bit of honey a bit of vanilla you hear some sweetness on the nose but there's quite a lot of tannic elements going on to it as well there's some like leather and some tree bark you know it's kind of like that i don't know it's kind of like a mustiness to it really nice let's get onto the palette cheers Now, as I said before on my videos, I take my tasting notes gradually through different tastings in the run-up to the video. I don't do my tasting notes kind of live on camera, you know, you'd be hard pushed to find people that actually do that. But I spend a lot of time, you know, drinking a whiskey in different moods, in different situations, but I was so looking forward to this video because I've been not drinking this for a little bit to make sure that I can actually cover it, make sure I've got some left. But I'm just really enjoying that taste there. It's such an amazing flavour. And it's huge. There's, there's, there's this huge sweetness and tannic element mixing in. It's like maple syrup with a bit of fudge and the kind of charred oak all mingling in. The finish is massive. It just keeps going and going and going. Huge and flavour, flavourful. A little bit of spice on the back end, but nothing like too major. Have another quick little sip. Mmm. I think, like genuinely, I didn't do a whiskey of the year for 2022 um, for no reason other than I just didn't. But this would have definitely been in the running for it. There's probably maybe two or three bottles that I'll cover as I go along, but this would have been one of those bottles. But I'd have been hard pushed to make it my whiskey of the year because you can't get it. And that's one of my caveats that I always try to say when I'm doing a kind of like a recommendation is I want you to be able to buy it. Um, what, you know, hopefully, you know, obviously, UK people should be able to get any whiskies that I usually talk about, and sometimes even further afield. But this you're just not going to be able to get. Like I said, the 32 year old is uh, available on Master of Malt right now, um, but again, I can't vouch for that. But this thing is utterly incredible. Um, that's actually that's something I should say is that I did notice on Master of Malt at time of recording that they do have some samples of this, and I think they're about a fiver. So if you're buying from Master of Malt and you do want to try this then it might be worth adding that onto it because genuinely, I mean, I've, I've drank a good few grains in my time. I've got a 15 year old grain sitting right over my shoulder here. Genuinely, this is one of the best grain whiskies I've ever, ever drank. Um, a bottle of, let's say, I did did have the, the, the fortune of, of trying a 58 year old grain one time. I did a video on that a good couple of years ago. Obviously that was astounding, but that was like, three grand worth of whiskey you know as a full bottle i got to try this little sample like this but as a purchasable bottle for the 66 67 pounds that i paid for this what a bargain unbelievable value unbelievable value i cannot begin to tell you how much good, good value that is um, but really the point of this video is not to impress on you how good this was and that you just can't get it anymore is that you should check out if you haven't already these master of malt bottlings because there will be a bottle for you somewhere. Um, you know, they're all good value and they're all been well priced on their own kind of things. I'm just looking on the website beforehand and there's like some four there's a forty two year old blended whiskey that was distilled in like nineteen eighty or something like that, and it's like hundred and sort of forty quid, hundred and fifty quid, something like that, which is mind boggling. But you know, like I said, there's also things like this, which is a six year old forty percenter, which was like twenty quid. And I, again, unfortunately this one's gone, but they are going to do more stuff like this, but when have you ever seen a, a kind of look like? I mean, look at it. It's it's like it's not even in there. It's it's just almost clear. Um, but yeah, that's a story for another day. <sighs> Much love to Master of Malt for this because I'm just really glad that I managed to get hold of this. I was very surprised that this was still in stock when I when I got it. So yeah, I'm a massive fan. I'm sure you figured that out by now. Go and check out Master of Malt on their, their independently bottled stuff. It's They're in their little section for independently bottled. There's going to be a bottle for you, and they're going to be releasing more stuff because this stuff has been really popular. The whole range has been really popular. But um, I'm going to enjoy the rest of this jam. And now that I've done this video, I don't think I'm going to be able to keep my grubby mitts off this because this was just too good. Too good. And when it's gone, it's gone. But 
it is what it is. Cheers to you guys, and I'll see you again on another video.